So, hello everyone. Uh, uh. Guys, can you see my screen? Yes. yes sir. Yeah, welcome to this session. First of all, welcome everyone to this session. Can see a lot of people have joined today. Okay, very happy to see good number. So let's begin. So guys, uh, the session is all about, you know, right? Uh, this is what is the topic of the session. Writing test cases for an entire application. Okay, this is the topic. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I just want to know first from you guys, whether you are a fresher or experienced, okay? You have joined this class with an expectation, right? So are you a fresher or experienced? So just type that in the chat box. Just type fresher experience, just two words, that's it. I want to see how many people are fresher, how many people have already have some experience. Okay, a lot of freshers are there here, experienced people are also there. Yes, I can see the chat box. Well, yeah, you can even type F E guys, F for fresher, E for experience. You don't have to type the entire thing if you want. Okay. So good number of freshers I can see. And uh, anyone there to, yeah, I'm still checking the chat guys. Let's see how many are, you see a lot of freshers are there, even experienced people also came. So guys, uh, I'm just going to give you a kind of gift in this particular session. The gift is nothing but, yeah, mute yourself guys. Okay. So uh, I'll just say mute all. If required, you can unmute guys. So the thing is in this session, I'm going to give you a gift where, you know, I'm going to share with you one Excel file containing all the test cases of an entire application. Okay. So I'll first show you the application guys. Good to know that a lot of freshers are there. A lot of experienced people are there. Okay, uh, then the time has come for me to share share with you a complete end-to-end -end test case document that I've created that no one in the market will share with you. Okay, did you, I just want to know guys from your, uh, sure, sure, Hari Prakash, I will talk to you separately at the end, no problem, okay? We'll talk, no problem. So guys, uh, there is a question for you. Have you seen any trainer giving you an entire test case document starting to ending of the application have you seen anyone doing that in the market so no. far if if you have seen just type this guys no problem in that okay but i have done that guys okay so no trainer in the market a lot of people go to the samir paid you know a lot of uh, institutes that are attend basically they promise you for jobs and all but ultimately they won't teach you anything right what is the real time stuff? No one teaches you. There's a problem in the industry now. Though you're paying, I have seen a lot of people paying uh, like very big amount, but still despite of that, you know, uh, they were promised to give some jobs and, you know, ultimately they are not giving you the required documents or, you know, uh, that's training is not the worth. Okay. So just they're selling the business on the name of jobs, but we are not like that guys. Okay. So here, since you have attended this session, I'm going to give you a gift right away, okay? I'm going to give you the gift right away, guys, okay? That is nothing but the entire test case document of an application. First, I'll show you the demo application. So the reason here is, if I give you a sample, a sample test case document, if I give you guys, what you will do? You will practice on that and you will already get an experience of, you know, in general, whenever a fresher joins a company, right, what they will do, they will not directly start writing the test cases. The test lead or the senior people will call that junior or fresher and give them a test case document and ask them to run the test cases manually, go through each and every test case and just uh, verify the testing. That's what they do initially for one or two months or what it will happen like that. The moment they get a feel like, okay, these are the test cases, then the senior people will give you a chance in the company where they'll ask you to create the test cases for so X, Y, Z functionality, some new functionality or whatever it is. That's what happens in the real time. Guys, okay. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'm looking at the chat. Okay. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Fine. Thank you guys for that comments and all. 
So the thing here is, I'm talking about a fresher, even me, when I have joined a company, right? Uh, initially, I was very confused what actually testing is and, you know, all those stuff. Uh, like I was asked to explore an application. I don't know what, what people do as it is, software testers and all. Okay. Maybe after a while, what happened was initially they put me in a project and they didn't ask me to create the test cases. They instead gave me the application URL and along with that, they gave me a document. It is an Excel document uh, for which uh, the company has already created the test cases for the project team has created the test cases for. Initially for a few months, uh, my job was to just go to the office, whatever the application environment I have to work on, that application environment I'll open up, the test case document I will open up, open up and run the test cases. And if any discrepancies in there, like expected results are not coming, I used to fail the test case and report a defect for that. That's what I used to do guys, okay? Initially, everyone needs this. Everyone needs this, right? So, but no one in the industry is sharing a test case document. So I thought, why can't I create a test case, test case entire complete end-to-end -end test case document and provide to my community so that all will get benefited out of it, right? The people who are freshers, they don't know what happens inside the company. They should get some experience, at least, uh, you know, exposure to this, uh, right? And all those stuff. So I thought like uh, I got an idea, why can't I create the end-to-end -end test case? For example, you can see an application, right? Not a simple application. It's an e-commerce application. A lot of functionalities are, for example, if you select the currency, there are three types of currencies are there. If I go with my account, I have a lot of my account. If I go with the register, you see on the right side of this page, I get a lot of options, login, register, forgot password, my account, address book, wish list, order history, like many options are there. Okay. So that's what is the problem, guys. That's what is the problem. Okay, that's what is the problem. So I thought I'll spend some time. I took, uh, you know, almost uh, 15 days to 20 days of time of my time from morning to end of the night. Okay, I worked hard and uh, then I decided to complete completely write the test cases for this entire application, guys. Okay, not even missing a single functionality. I thought of writing the test cases end to end for this entire application so that I can share that particular thing with the community and uh, so that my community members can easily understand what test cases are, how, what kind of testing people do and all, and they'll get some kind of, you know, real time feeling of ex while executing the test cases, they will get a lot of, uh, you know, confidence that I can even find the defects. This is what the people do. Okay. In the companies and all. So whatever it may be. So this entire application without missing a single functionality, I have created the test cases, guys. So that test cases I'm going to show you right now. So I'll paste you the link in the chat box for everyone. Everyone just use this link, guys. Just click on that link. Even I will be clicking on the link. So it will ask me to join the Telegram group. We have a Telegram group, guys, where such kind of lot of other information also will be shared. A lot of useful stuff will be there. I request everyone to, you know, join the Telegram group. And uh, here you see it's taking you here. Okay. It has taken me here. I just click on this document. So in a while, the document is opening up. You see, here I have bookmarked it. So in the chat, you can take it, guys. In the chat, I have posted the link. Okay. Telegram group link. Just click on the Telegram group link, everyone. And uh, you will get the Excel document opening up. This is the complete test case document, guys. End to end, uh, I, th I think I have uh, clicked on it uh, two times or something. Okay. Let's see whether it is not opening or opening uh, maximize. Let's see. It will take some, otherwise I'll just close and open again. Just give me a second. Let it open. Even I have to test this, what happens when we open from the Telegram group. Open in protected view is coming. Let's see what will happen. Opening tutorials in Java web application test cases completed and all this coming. Yeah, this time it got open, no problem. I'll just enable it. Okay, I'll just enable it and uh, I got it. Okay, I'll also put this, uh, you know, link for downloading the test cases in the description of this particular video. I'll I'll uh, upload this video onto the YouTube guys, okay? If you have missed it somehow, you can, you know, uh, unable to watch completely or something, right? You can watch in my YouTube. Tomorrow it will get premiered at evening 8 p.m. something around, okay? So you can 
you can even go through the video and from the description of the video also, you'll get the link for this, okay? I'll provide the link. Yeah, I'm resending. I posted again in the chat, you can take it. So guys, uh, this is the entire test case document that I was talking about. You see how many functionalities are there. You will be amazed how many test cases I have written. Okay, with my experience of 12 years working in different companies and different projects, then I know what is the best way of writing the test cases. Is not working? Guys, is, is the link not working? Not it will work. Okay. Just check again. Maybe you may not have the Telegram group or maybe try to see, try to install the Telegram group and uh, click on the link maybe. It may not work if you don't have the Telegram group, okay? And just uh, paste in the link. Most of the people it is working guys, okay? For whoever it is not working, just try to install the Telegram group in your machine and you know, it will work. I just keep pasting it so that you can take it from there. Okay, anyhow, just look into this guys for a while. So uh, the efforts and all for a while. If uh, it's not working, I'll help you out. Don't worry. Fine, okay. So guys, with my experience, of working in the IT field and uh, uh, for 12, 12 years as a software tester and you know, I have different roles I have worked on, okay? Even I created very big proposals uh, for the clients and all those stuff. I created a company website. I have a lot of exposure to all this stuff, guys, okay? Very big proposals I created. With that experience, you can think, okay? I'm very good at creating the test cases. So whatever the experience I got from different companies and different projects, right? That experience, I clubbed it, okay, and created these test cases. This is what the test cases looks like. So this is uh, like it's an, nowadays people are not writing the Excel documents. Uh, people are using Jira tools and all. That is a different story. If you want to know the Jira and all, that is there in my YouTube channel, guys. You can go to my YouTube channel and search for PFox Jira. You will get that video how to create the test cases on Jira and all. But a, anyhow, you guys need to have some knowledge, right? Uh, you guys need to have the knowledge of creating. So no matter whether you are going to write in Jira or whatever it is, test cases are test cases, right? Whether you write in Excel document or whether you write in a tool, doesn't matter, okay? If you get the experience here, anyhow, you'll get the experience in Jira also. Firefox and space Jira you type, you'll get a video, guys. That video, if you'll watch, you'll get the entire idea, okay? You see, Agile Management Tool Jira uh, using Zephyr plugin. Here I showed you like a uh, end-to-end process, like what happens, how where the test cases will be written and all those stuff. I, I request you guys to watch this video guys, okay? So I'll also post this link in the chat if you really want, okay? And also I'm posting the Telegram group again, uh, Telegram group link again. Copy post link and here, okay? For the Excel file, this is the thing and uh, for that Jira thing, that's the thing. These two things I recommend everyone, okay, to watch and all. Fine, anyhow, let's going back, just going back. So here, let me explain at a high level what the test case document is all about uh, for the application, which application we are writing and what is a client name and all, okay. It's a very basic one, The you know, uh, prepared by the company. Let's say I'm working for Solitic, some random company I do. Let's say I'm the, my name and what is my designation, who is writing the test case, okay? And uh, this test case will not be written in a single iteration. Uh, we'll write the version 1.0 and send it to the client. We'll, once we receive the feedback from the client, we'll update the test cases and uh, give the version 2.0 with updated feedback and version 3.0. And if any new test case need to be added and this version keeps on going, okay? This is a page for that. This is a page for that. Uh, any questions you can ask me at the end, guys, okay? Just follow the session for a while. And here you see, I clubbed the test scenarios also here. These are the functionalities for which I created the test cases, guys. Register functionality, login functionality, logout, entire application functionality. For each and every functionality, you see 27, 23, 11. Total test cases, if I calculate, there were around, you know, 31 functionalities I identified, categories, you can say, or functionalities. And I was able to write 507 test cases that no one will write for you guys, okay? This no one will write for you. That's what I can say. So here, you know, I created uh, the test case doc. You see every test case in depth, it is there. You see, with execution results also, it is there for you, whatever the test case document I'm providing. So the reason here is, let's say you went to the login functionality, you start with the first test case. Test case ID is there. 
uh, here test case uh, space, uh, you know, uh, login functionality short form I have given and 001, some unique number I gave. And it belongs as test in our login functionality. And this is the test case title. Verify logging into the application using valid credentials. Then predict sets before we start performing the testing of the test case. First, we have to open the application URL in supported browser and we should have the uh, proper credentials, okay? Uh, uh, valid credentials we should have, okay? Then we have to click on the My Account drop menu. We have to follow the steps here, okay? So once you open this application URL in any browser, one test case I'll demo, guys. After that, I'll not go. Remaining, you will do anyhow. My Account, click on Login. That's what is there here. Then after clicking on Login, there is an expected result saying user should be navigated to Login page. I'll verify that. Yes, user got login, navigated to login page. First expected result got passed. Then enter valid email address into the email address field. So let me enter some valid email address into the email address field. I'll take this three or something. And also have to enter the valid password into the password field. Here refer the test data is there. I have, I have provided the test data also like this. And after that, I have to click on the login button and verify the expected result too. Click on the login button. And uh, you see, I have to verify the expected result too. That is user should get logged in and taken to account page. Am I taken to account page? Yes, this is account page I'm taken and user got logged in successfully. You see, user has been logged in successfully, okay? And actual result is matching with expert result and I have passed the test case. I'll pass the test case and this is the priority one test case. I don't want to dig deep there, okay? I don't want to dig deep there. You want me to provide the application URL? It's there in the test case document. It's there in the test case document, but I'll provide again. Anyhow, since you're asking me, I'll provide, okay? I have provided in the chat box. You can take it from there. And uh, this is a test case document thing. Okay. And the uh, other one is the application URL. Yeah. Fine, guys. Hope you got some idea what the test case document is all about, right? Like this, not only for login functionality, login functionality, I created test cases for. You see? Uh, 23 test cases. For logout, every test case is documented well, guys. Okay. With the results, it is there. If any failure is there, we have to report the defects and all. Okay. Keep going, guys. Like you see, a lot of functionalities. Forgot password, search, product compare, product display page, add to cart, wish list, shopping cart. Okay. Home page, check out my account, my account information, change password, address book, order history, order information, product returns, downloads, rewards, returns. You see, keep going, keep going, keep going. I didn't miss even a single functionality, guys. Okay entire application test cases, including the currency I covered. So this is the thing guys, no one in the industry will give you this kind of document for you for free. Okay. Even they take your money, but they will not teach you this stuff. This is very important. Test case document is very important guys. So my teaching, my way of teaching will be like this. Uh, I don't teach the, only the theory. I teach the theory. I understand it's required, but along with the theory, the real time stuff will be taught in my trainings, but since you have attended my webinar, I have given a gift for you where I'm giving you this uh, test case document for free. You guys can download it, use it, whatever you want to do. You can practice it and all those stuff. Okay. So that's what is the thing. Any questions, guys? Any questions about this uh, test case document? What do you think? And all. Now you can start typing in the chat box. I would like to answer your questions. Yes, sir. Uh, I, uh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh uh, sir, I have lots of doubts in creating test cases hmm. and executing okay. test cases. Okay. Can I okay. ask uh, end up that test in the session? Uh, have you watched my videos on YouTube? Yes, sir. I am daily watching. Uh, still, you are not able to understand. Test cases, no, no. I can I, able I, to. I can understanding, but hmm. but some. Uh, some real time scenario I want to know. Okay. So ask me at a high level. I cannot explain everything for you, but uh, you can ask me at a high level. Yes, sir. Uh, can I ask now? Yeah, you can ask now. It's the right time. Yeah, yes, sir. For example, in tutorials in Java, for example, we have 400, 400 more than test case. Yes. 507, yes. 500 plus test case, right. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. yes, sir. For example, if I want to choose the test cases for automation, Mm. How, how to decide if this test case is perfect there are for different ways. For example, there, are different in ways. Case. there are different ways. The thing is that first we'll go with the high prioritized test cases first. And other thing is that second consideration I will do is like, you know, stable functionality. 
I would like to automate the test cases for which application functionality is already stable. Okay. I don't want to mess up with the unstable. If there is unstable thing, I'll prefer a stable thing first and then go for the unstable stuff. Okay. And uh, there may be some test cases, right? Uh, which really cannot be automated. There may be some situations that kind of test cases you can ignore. Okay. And the, I'll definitely choose the test cases, uh, you know, which will save my time. The main intention of the test automating the test cases is for regression purpose. Every time if you have to do the regression, it will take a lot of time, right? So it should okay. save our time. Okay. So in nowadays in agile, okay. agile days, in agile days, what's happening is we are working in sprints. So every week it will be like, you know, you'll be given 10 working days in the 10 working days, some new functionalities they will add or some new changes they will add. Your focus should be on the new functionalities, older functionalities who will test will not have time. So we have to automate the older, yes. older functionalities. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So, and yeah. also uh, we have in register, we have a lot of test cases uh, uh, around uh, 26 or 27. Yes. For correct. example, providing all the fields, mm. providing all the fields and the mandatory fields mm. and without providing any fields. Yes. And right. the login comes to login. We have to providing valid uh, username, valid password and without providing val uh, valid yes, username yes, and valid okay, password. Okay, understood. understood. And, uh, like that, uh, for example, how to choose these test cases for uh, suitable for uh, regression testing, how to select the regression. No, most of the test cases that. will be regression only. Most of the test cases will be regression only. Reg People talk that uh, we cannot uh, automate the entire application. They will say, but we have to automate as much as possible. If you don't have time, then uh, we have to prioritize and step down. Okay. But if you have time, what is the matter of uh, not automating it? If there is a possibility of automating the okay. test cases, why you don't want to automate it? You can automate. But uh, okay, sir, in our pilot, for example, tutorials Ninja I'm taking, for example, mm. 500 to 600 test cases I have. Mm. In real time, practically, how, how many test cases we can able to automate in our real time project? In our for real example, time project, six, we, seven, you see, I have worked on a very big e-commerce application where 500 test cases are also not enough. There are thousands of test cases, they got automated. Because there will not I be one, two, there are one or two people will not be working on the project. There will be around like 300 plus people working on the project. Everyone, everyone will be working on their module separately. They will be creating the test cases for their module and they will be automating them. It, it, you, you think yeah. that you will be the only person who will be automating, right? That won't happen in real time. There will be a big team who will be doing that. Okay. So it's okay. It's okay. easy to automate most of the test cases. Sir, in a quality, yeah. I mean, testing yeah. team, how many members it will, it will be just employees uh, working in, on testing? Uh, uh, I didn't get that. Come again with the question. Sir, in testing team, how many employees will be there, sir, working on testing? It depends because I have worked on several projects. If you, have, if you want me to give the numbers, for example, in my first project, there were 30 people. Okay. In testing For the desktop, team, yeah, I'll, I'll give you some examples so that you can understand real time stuff. Okay. In my uh, in my project where I have worked in the first project, there were 30 people working. Okay. And uh, when I went to the second project, right, there were only two people working, me and other person. Okay. And in the third project, there were around seven people working. So fourth project, if I take, there were five people working. And uh, last project that I have worked, there were like uh, 300 plus testers were there. Very big uh, project. Very big project, but uh, it was organized in such a way that it has been, uh, you know, like you slice a cake, right? They have sliced the project into smaller, smaller modules. One chart, chart related functionality, one, one team will do uh, some uh, shopping cart. One other person will do uh, home page. Another, another team will do like that. They have divided that and there were 300 plus people in that project. Sir, one more. You got the idea, right? Question. Now you got the idea, right? It depends on the project. Okay. Okay, so one more question. Yeah. In uh, for example, in login in the register functionality, uh, around uh, 20, uh, 27 test cases, uh, two test cases are failed. For example, mm. two test cases right. are failed. Right. Correct. Correct. In this, in this, uh, I am going to retest the particular two test two test cases. Mm. How to regress in the? I uh, theoretically I can uh, able to uh, uh, explain. The you, see, uh, you see, no matter what, what happens in real time is I understood your question. What is the problem is, uh, let's say when you have tested the login functionality, some version of the software has been given to you 
and you have performed the testing and as part of that some test cases got failed you reported some defects let's say three to five defects you reported now developers yes, have sir. fixed this particular defects and again gave another version of the software to you then how many test cases do you want to you have to uh, test again that's what is the question right yes sir so you have to uh, uh, you have to test the entire test cases again as part of regression Retesting only this many you will do, but entire testing regression because there may be side effects because of some part of the some part uh, of the program if that has been touched because of any other thing it may be bug fixes or it may be because of you know uh, because of some new changes added or some new existing functionalities modified or existing functionalities removed from the application if developers touch the code it's our duty as a software tester to test the entire test cases from starting to ending that is called as regression. And the purpose we do is to see if there are any side effects. Okay, but, sir. Mm, but, but, sir, sir. Yeah, yeah, one by one. Yeah. So, but sir, regression test cases uh, is going to be so time taking. So, how to manage that? That's why we have to automate. Okay, sir. Will you provide some demo and uh, real examples how to segregate the test cases for regression? And as there well as. There will not be uh, any segregation. We have to test the entire thing. But I understood your question. Maybe in less time, how do you test the entire test cases? That is the thing, right? You will not be the only person. There will be three to four people along with you who will be working based on the project. Okay. Everyone will be taking their own environment in that they will be running the test cases. That is one thing. And I know that a testing that 507 test cases will take a lot of time. So what is the, sure. what we can do then? In that case, what we can do? How to but test the application? But theoretically, sir, everyone saying that Mm -hmm. that we have to uh, check the criticality uh, impact areas and for, by looking out their uh, dependencies between the test cases, then we mm -hmm. have to select those, those test cases for regression. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's not like that. Uh, what we generally do is, uh, you know, first we, first the process here is very simple. Whenever you receive a new build, first thing is that everyone has to do smoke testing. Okay. First we have to perform smoke testing. Okay. Smoke testing, you know, uh, like you can do it at a very high level. For example, login functionality. What what do you think will be a smoke test case as part of the login functionality? Login with valid credentials, right? That you will do. Yes, okay. Sir. For search functionality is there. What will be the high level test case uh, in the uh, search functionality of an application as part of smoke testing? Whether you are able to search for a product or not. Like that you will test at a high level. Okay. Very critical okay. functionalities at a high level. You will test. It will not take 10 to 20 minutes. In some cases, the application is very complex. It will take 30 minutes max. Once smoke testing is done, if, if the smoke testing is uh, good, then we'll proceed for the detailed testing. As part of the detailed testing, before going for detailed testing, what we'll do is uh, we'll try to retest the previous reported defects. As We'll do retesting first. Next thing is we'll do retesting. Okay. Uh, retesting means these particular defects have been properly fixed by developers or not, we'll do. If they are properly fixed, we'll close them. If they are not properly fixed, we'll, we'll reassign them back to the developers. And this particular test, uh, defects related test cases will be there, right? We'll do a sanity of them. Sanity means in depth. For example, if you have reported a defect related to login functionality, that login test cases, you will test complete regression of the login functionality will do, not the entire application. Login functionality regression is nothing but sanity only. In depth login functionality is sanity. A portion of uh, regression is sanity like that, okay? Affected areas, you will perform as part of sanity. This is the first priority. This is the second priority. This is the third thing. Now comes the regression, entire regression. Uh, apart from this uh, fixed things and all, there may be possibility of side effects in other areas of the program, right? That everything we have to test. And that we'll do as part of regression where we have to test the entire document. Okay, guys. We have to so test. No so no matter how we need to yeah, I'll come. I, I have not completed my answer. Just give me a second. Let me open the document. I think I closed it. Okay, just give me a second. So for example, login functionality, I'm testing and all. So now you may get a doubt. So how can maybe you have less time and you know, uh, then how can you test here? You can see a priority tab. Can you see a priority column? In the login functionality, can you see a priority column? P1, 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 P3, 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 P2. Can you see guys? Yeah, we can see. So we are going to prioritize our test cases. So we will test the P1 test cases first, then P2, then P3, like that we'll go. Because you see, whatever the time we have, we'll do that. 
if we have our uh, test cases already automated all good okay if not then you have to do it manually right if manually you don't have much time what you can do you have to go according to the priority that's the only way there's no other solution for that people will ask you this many test cases are there and you have less time what you will do means you will test according to the priority this called as risk based testing okay guys this called as risk based testing where when testers have less time and lot of test cases are there and uh, somehow there is no other way to escape that then they'll go according to the priority and at least try to figure out that uh, high priority test cases are working fine or not so that major defects will not be missed maybe minor defects may be missed and you can inform that to the you know uh, your uh, people saying that we have tested the p1 p2 kind of things and p3 we are pending in a time kind of stuff okay asa one more question yeah please so in the uh, register functionality uh, uh, for example i have 27 test cases yes in this uh, for example uh, the uh, the state flow is uh, provide providing all the fields and the register and an account this is my uh, i level test case uh, i didn't get that last line uh, for example providing all the fields uh, and then create an account this is my i level test case creating all this, uh, uh, filling all the fields and creating an account right creating an account this is my i level test cases okay test mm. case mm. Uh, if in case if i want to choose the test cases for the regression testing mm. uh, first of all i want to choose these test cases or any other for example providing you see that's uh, what i'm saying regression testing is not a different stuff test cases cannot be categorized as mooc regression like that okay regression means every test case will come into regression only that's what i'm saying only thing one is that oh. priority will be there okay p1 yeah, one test p1 priority of test cases p2 priority of test cases p3 priority of regression test every test case is a regression regression is nothing but you are testing the entire application again to see if there are any side effects because of the previous fixes or changes or modification in the code but yeah, but what no, about the end, end to end test cases this is a uh, end to end test cases means you see for example i'll tell you what is an end to end test case what is a normal test case i'll tell you normal testing uh, so uh, yeah, yeah one question regarding same topic like how often we run our regression suits Uh, for every version of the software we have to run okay so if for example in some projects what happens is they will give you the software every month let's say then how many times you have to run the regression suit only one time but different environments will be there but in some in some cases they give you keep on giving you the url every day a different version of the software they give you every day then it will not be possible for us to test the entire regression suit in a day right so we have to take the yeah. automation and automation is generally chosen in the projects which are in long term that is another point guys okay for example uh, if your project is like you know uh, more than one year or two years or more years it goes right the return on investment for that automation will be good so whenever you are going to work on bigger projects very complex applications right which are there from years right you will definitely mm -hmm. see that they will have an automation beside them okay for small projects which generally take 3 months 6 months or less than 1 year to complete right those people will not mm -hmm. do the automation of the test cases they will manually test it okay yeah because obviously it will take long time and we yeah, can't run it because uh, automation will take time by the time project will be over what is the use mm -hmm. sir uh, if Thank in you. in a project we have to write test case for each and every functionality sir uh i didn't get that question come again suppose uh, one application is there an application there will be a lot of functions like add to cart the log login and yes, yes, correct, and correct, 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 right. every function yes yes correct 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 right should we have to write test cases and scenarios it depends well. sometimes what happens is uh, have worked on some projects where the client has specially told us that these are the only areas that you have to test in the application apart from this don't test the other stuff like uh, based yes. on requirements sir huh? yes based on requirements okay it's uh, in the beginning of the project they'll tell you the scope of the project will be there okay the, uh, mostly so the they talk about the entire we have to write the test cases but, yes uh, based mostly, on the uh, client requirement yes. yes according to the client requirements we have to take our actions okay uh, we have to ask the client ask the question to the client in the beginning days okay during the initial days when you know project will not come as it is right people have to do the pilots and all those stuff or some meetings will happen their people will ask the questions one of the question will be do we have to test the entire application or uh, is the only some area of the application we have to test 
for that client will answer either via email or by, via telephone calls or you know this kind of meetings that we are doing on zoom this kind of discussions will happen where the things will come to conclusion like what we have to do okay and whatever the functionalities that are in our scope and that client has asked for us to perform testing those application those functionalities only will write the test cases remaining we don't write mr sir one more yeah sir sir for our manual testing in case if i am having facing any bug issue Mm. I'm going to report a bug uh, in Jira, via Jira, mm -hmm. the developer. For okay. example, automation, if I'm having any issue, if I'm facing mm. any one test case is failed, how to report mm. that uh, issue to same, the developer? Same way, same way. You see, automation, same way. Simply, uh, automation, simply what it is doing, it is helping you in finding the defects in a faster way, right? By the time you come to office, scripts were run on the application and you got a report that so-and-so functionalities are not working. So you will manually recheck them, okay? Because you have to eliminate the false positives, right? For, for sometimes what happens is you will get the failure, but it's not really failing. Manually, when you check, uh, you will think that okay, this is a problem with the script, not the application problem, okay? So in that case, you have to rule out few things. And finally, when you manually confirm that or whatever the automation has done, that you the failed test cases that when when you manually confirm that and then you come to a conclusion that these test cases are really failing. Then you will report the defects. If the defects are already not there for that, then you will report the defects and inform. Uh, that's that's the normal way. Okay. Automation will help yes, you in so the both, process. Both things are uh, should be in Jira only part of the Jira to report. Yes, yes, that to that you will take the call right. Automation will give you a report, generate a report at the end. That report you will see and uh, accordingly you will try to report the defects. And you have to confirm okay, it manually and then report. You cannot blindly go with automation, right? Automation tool yes, will scale a lot of things. It's saving your time. But ultimately, so, maybe five test cases are failing means it doesn't take much time to you, you to go and test that five test case again and confirm whether the defect is really there or not. If the defect is really there, you will report the defects into the JDR. So you know I think so you know the tags concept in automation. For example, regression tags, mock tags, and anti tags. Mm. Mm. Tagging. For example, how to choose the tagging concept in our automation. For example, regression test cases, I have 500 uh, test you cases see, in this. Uh, 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 tagging concept, if you go with Cucumber PDD, I, uh, maybe you are asking from that area, I feel. Okay. So there are right. tagging concept in the Cucumber PDD where uh, before every scenario, we'll write a tag. Okay. We'll write a mention a tag there. So different ways we will write a tag. For example, the uh, scenarios are related to login. At the rate, login kind of tag will write there. Okay. Uh, at the rate, all will write. At the rate, regression will write. At the rate, smoke will write. Like the different multiple tags will provide and the runner class will specify the tag that we want to run because different times client will ask you to uh, run different stuff. Okay. Sometimes client will ask okay, you sir. to perform smoke testing. Smoke related test cases only you have to run. In that case, you will mention the smoke okay. tag and run it. Okay, or if sometimes Thanks. client will ask you to run on uh, all the regression tests, then you will do that. Or only login test cases. Oh, at the rate login, if you provide all the login test cases only will run like that, it will happen in the real time. Okay. Sir, one coming yes, sir. First, sir, sir, creating test case. Sir, in Jira tool, we, we do have the documentation or else only in the meeting aspect only. We will discuss all the topics and we will perform the, 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 uh, the process. Sir, it's, everything is not ideal in real world. Okay. People think that everything is ideal, but in real world, everything is not ideal. So people will not follow the real agile. They will modify the agile process or scrum methodology or whatever it is, and they will implement that. Okay. So people say that, uh, you know, stand up meetings will take only 10 minutes, but in real time, I've seen they, they have been taken 40 minutes. No one is there to ask them. Okay. Things happen, uh, real time things. And, uh, you know, as per the rules, things will differ. Okay. So coming to the documentation uh, also, uh, we have something like stories, right? For every story. Uh, we can attach a document if required. We can create a test case document and, you know, attach the document for review for the business person uh, in that particular story. And once uh, the test cases are reviewed for that particular story and all, once it is approved, then we'll take the test case and perform testing or automate them. Okay. So it depends. But coming to the, but coming to the agile list documentation. Okay. But coming to the agile, uh, we don't have to write the entire test cases at a go. We don't have to create the entire test plan at a go. It's not like that. Uh, in Agile, the, the beautiful thing is that only the stories that were assigned to that particular sprint, right? Only that area will be creating all the stuff like uh, 
test cases or whatever the defects reporting or whatever it is, right? We'll be doing only for that remaining all regression part will be taken by, by automation. Most of the agile projects will be into automation. And there is one more thing, guys. If automation need to be suitable for the project, it should be a long-term project, right? If agile scrum methodology or agile methodology should be suitable for a project, that project also should be a long-term project. Otherwise, people will use waterfall model, etc. Or uh, water, waterfall uh, model, etc. For small projects, uh, people will not use agile. Okay. For uh, big projects uh, only, people will use agile. Sir, I am from 7 to 8 a.m. batch. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. I, I am from 7 to 8 a.m. batch. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, while creating test cases, how, hmm. while creating test cases, how to using the uh, test case uh, technology techniques? While creating example, the test cases, how test to create cases, the test cases to... you are asking, right? Yes, how to create what test is, cases by using the technique, technique that we use for creating. That will be taking a lot of time. So I prefer a mind map. You see, there is a software here, right? This I generally use. This will, this has helped me a lot. Okay. Different people use different techniques, but I prefer using this mind map. So what I will do here is for example, login function. First I'll ideate, ideate my ideas for test case. For example, login functionality test case, login test cases like that. I'll write what ideas I'll get, uh, valid credentials, login with valid credentials is one idea I got another idea. What I got login with valid email and invalid invalid password some more test case whatever the ideas idea one idea two idea three i'll create not only that you see login will be there for most of the applications so it's very easy to find in google or you can go for chat gpt kind of stuff and uh, if you want really want to save the time this is how we have to use the ai tools to save our time guys okay uh, uh yeah. can you list down uh different uh test cases uh for testing login functionality functionality of an application okay of an e-commerce application if you want to be more specific you can write that e-commerce application okay you can write that if you really want okay it depends on the prompt what we are giving so it will give you some list of test cases you see valid credentials you see i don't have to just break my head right i'll use my head but ultimately if i am missing anything or not i'll use this kind of tools and add up my test cases and improve my test cases and there are many blogs websites and YouTube videos online where you can go and search for such kind of test cases. First, you have to ideate by yourself like this. And after that, uh, to fill up the gaps, you can go with a lot of stuff. Okay. Sir, uh, one more time, how to verify in case any test cases are missing or not while creating test cases? So how to verify? That's what it's all about, you know, completeness. Okay. So how many ideas you are getting, okay, that, and also what happens sometimes, what I felt in real time is, even though I thought that I have created the test cases for the entire functionality, it may not be. For example, I may feel at this moment that for the login functionality, I created all the test cases I may feel, but that may be, may not be correct. Why? Because while I am testing the application, suddenly I'll get some more ideas. Okay. I have missed this one in my test case. Yes, sir. You got the idea, right? Mm -hmm. What I mean to say. So test case yes, is not a single time process. Test cases creation is not a single time process. While the project is going, your test case updation process also will go. Okay. Don't think that in the beginning, you will write all the test cases that the task is done. It's not like that. We have to keep on updating our test cases on the ongoing basis. Whenever we come across some new way, we have to keep updating our test cases, adding that new test cases or whatever it is. Okay. That's how okay. we have to because there is no so limit for that okay in real time project also same pattern should we have to follow sir to write the test cases uh in real time process also what sir uh now you're showing the test cases right in excel sheet mm -hmm. so same pattern should we have to follow in a real time uh, project? you see depends on project to project uh you see if you are into a waterfall model or v model kind of stuff this kind of excel documents may be used but if you are into agile there is a jira tool people write this test cases in jira for that, I already have uh, shown you in the YouTube channel, right? Which video you have to watch, Jira. Okay, in the beginning I showed you, right? You just search for QFOX space, Jira, you will get that video. Just see that. Either this way you will write or Jira tool using that you will write. Okay? So the zero tool this is the starting entering... point. This is the starting point, okay? Uh, if you have to, if you have zero knowledge and if you want to gain some knowledge on writing test cases, you have to start with this Excel document. Rather, ra later you go to the Jira tool and understand that, okay? 
sir how many time we have to do regression test sir in zero tool video yes. there is a entire concept sir into be yes definitely they'll ask you the questions in the interview jira is very important this is a test management tool right the popular number one test management tool in the market okay nowadays no one is using excel files right excel is only for training purpose for me but ultimately people are in agile agile days these are okay so you have to learn jira for sure hello sir yes uh, how many times we have to execute regression test cases in every time you get a new version of the software if the smoke testing is but i told you here right first you perform smoke testing yes, once yes. you get a new version of the software smoke testing then retesting of the existing defects that uh, you know we have fixed in, uh, reported in the previous version of the software that you have to retest in the latest version of the software to see whether they are fixed by developers or not after that you have to perform sanity testing of this uh, functionalities that are either updated or uh, defects fixes have been done on that code code changes happened that that you have to talk to the developer and try to perform the sanity testing of sanity is nothing but subset of regression only for that for example login functionality some code change so uh, regression of that login functionality is nothing but sanity of login okay something like that okay the, after that is completed you have to go and uh, test the entire test case document for every version of the software you have to do that and uh, coming to the entire test case there are 507 if you are not able to do it you have to go according to the priority and do it okay so thank Audit. you Yes, okay, sir. sir. When we perform ad hoc testing, sir. When we do ad hoc testing, sir. Ad hoc is like a random testing. You know, you have done all the stuff, and uh, now you have some time left out. Okay, you have some time left out uh, to do some extra testing to, you know, investigate some areas that you may not have been investigated with the help of you know uh, your test case document. In such cases, you generally go for ad hoc testing. Okay, but when you have some time, we do ad hoc testing. Uh, what is the difference between uh, ad hoc testing and monkey testing? Ah, okay. Monkey testing is like behaving like a monkey. Uh, you see, there is similarity between ad hoc. Ad hoc is a random testing, right? Randomly, you are going here and there. Wherever you are getting doubt, you are going there and finding the defects. That is ad hoc, first of all. Okay. And uh, coming to the monkey testing is like uh, it's random. On the top of that, you have to behave like a monkey. You see, monkey means, for example, do, did you see anyone, you know, uh clicking on the same button 100 times generally that will happen in real time and real user will do that real customer will do that same button they will click 100 times no right but monkey will do that right so that is what is monkey testing do something that uh generally end users or customers won't do okay that is monkey testing another form of attack testing where uh, to see like uh he, uh, by doing this kind of repeated actions like a monkey behaving like a monkey in the application jumping from here and there randomly doing some stuff maybe there is a chance that you may come across a defect that you will report that so is monkey add monkey add on mm -hmm. same method or different you see attack is different monkey is different but um, attack is a random whereas monkey is random plus monkey behavior okay okay attack so plus test, test linear bdd which is best time. Which one? Test NG or BDD. Which is both are important. Test. Both are important. Uh, you see, if you go for a BDD, uh, in that framework, we'll use test NG or JUnit. Either JUnit or test NG will be there in that BDD also. Both are compulsory. So uh, test NG is mandatory, and on the top of that, people are using BDD also nowadays a lot. Yes, the test NG frameworks, the frameworks built on top of test NG are there with page object model, page of page factory design patterns are there. Now there are some frameworks which are like, you know, Cucumber BDD, TestNG, page object model, page factory, everything. Okay. So everything, um, both are important. Sir, so, what for students to One question. Yeah. Um, about BDD runner class, there is no uh, option for inbuilt out feature for running parallel execution. Uh, and I have watched the Selenium biggest course. What, Mm. videos and i need the video to upload for that you, you have to enable with the help of test only that's the only way and no point with python bdd behave uh python bdd it's been a while for me so you know i am mostly into java now okay so to recollect again right it will take 10 days of time for me for python so i cannot answer right now <laughs> to be yeah, honest just please upload a video later yeah i'll try to i'll try to but i cannot promise now because it will take some time for me 
Okay. Sir, what Hello, factor sir? should we consider? The... Yeah, yeah, one minute, uh, one person is asking me. Yeah, please continue. What is your question? What factor what should the... we consider to select test cases for automation? That's what I told you, right? Uh, first of all, uh, re uh, you know, uh, regression, main purpose of automation is to reduce the regression time. Okay. And uh, while doing that, uh, we prefer test cases which are stable. First point, the application functionality of the test cases which are stable, we prefer. But if the client insists, no matter whether it is stable or not, you still have to automate, then with the client approval, you can do that. Stable or unstable, you can do that. But most of the cases, we automate the stable test cases. Second thing is that the complex, time-taking, repeatable, uh, undoable, you know, such kind of test cases we'll choose. Data-driven kind of test cases where uh, same test cases need to be run with multiple sets of data. Like that, multiple ch things are there, guys. Okay, Multiple things are there, but almost all will automate the test cases. Very few test cases will ignore. Okay, Most of the cases, we'll automate most of the test cases. And the high priority test cases first will automate, then next priority test cases will automate. According to the priority, according to the stability of the functionalities, according to the you know the time the test cases will save for us. Okay, So we have to choose the test cases. Uh, sir, what is the difference yeah. between the Selenium Java and Selenium framework? Actually, I am not getting that. Okay, what is the sir? difference between Selenium Java and Selenium framework? You mean to say? Yeah, yes, sir. Selenium, you see, Selenium is an automation tool in that Java is a programming language using which uh, Selenium commands and Java programming language will mix it and uh, create the automation scripts. And coming to the framework, framework is like, you know, uh, it's like a rules and regulation kind of stuff to make our things easier. For example, uh, let's say there are two sessions going on. In one class, the trainer has clearly informed everyone that in advance, you have to bring a pen and book, uh, pen and book, and you have to uh, check in at this particular time. And uh, when you uh, mute your uh, mobile phones, make it silent, make them silent. And uh, if you have to go outside the class, don't ask me, don't interrupt me. Such kind of instructions the trainer has given, let's say. That class will go well. But there is another class where the trainer has not given any instructions. So everyone uh, is behaving like anything and the class is not going well. So here, the one which, have, which has this kind of instructions where you have to bring your, bring your pen, book and all those stuff, right? That is a framework. That class is following a framework. Whereas the other class where no rules, regulations are there and uh, which, is, which is having a lot of noise and disturbance, right? That, is, does it, that, that class doesn't have any framework. Got the idea now? In Selenium Which Java, when you create automation stuff. scripts, if you implement a framework using that Selenium Java automation thing, using Java, if you implement that framework, the possibility of getting better results and uh, the ease of writing the automation scripts will become easier. Okay. okay. Which means both uh, are same, reusability, but reusability is another uh, advantage. You see, uh, if you have, for every test case, you have to log in and perform testing, right? So you write that, you don't have to write the login code every time. You just move into a method and call that method whenever you want to log in. That's also part of framework only. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. like the many aspects are there in frameworks. Okay. That's one thing. Hello, sir. Yeah. Is there any real-time projects uh, in manual testing, sir, in videos? Yes, yes. Uh, in YouTube, we have that. And also, we have these classes going on. So I am also here to uh, just announce one more update, guys. Okay, if you are interested... If you really want to join my classes and, you know, talk to me every day and get your yes, doubts sir. cleared, right? Then uh, there yes, is one sir. announcement from my side, guys, uh, that my team want to do that. I'll give you that announcement now. So the announcement uh, is that uh, we are starting this manual testing classes this Saturday, guys. Okay. 24th and uh, 20, uh, weekends. It will be on weekends from three hours of sessions will be there with breaks, considerable breaks. It will start from 11 a.m. On Saturday, 11 a.m. on Sunday. Okay, with considerable breaks, it may take up to two and a half hours to three hours, okay, without clearing and including everything, okay. So every weekend we are going to have a class and uh, where real-time projects, real-time stuff and more of discussions and, you know, we'll do more than what, what I have done in the YouTube, okay. So we'll go beyond that. We'll go beyond that and I'll make sure that uh, you'll get utmost confidence in, you know, uh, getting jobs and all those stuff. And my team is yes, also sir, yes, very... Sir. Since are in, you know, trying trying some, you know, job placements and all, they're helping them, helping the people out uh, in the background and all. So you can talk to Javid regarding the job related stuff. Okay, I am not the person, but uh, you can talk to Javid once. He will help you out. Okay, if you have some gaps or you know, 
uh, you are facing some problems in the jobs or whatever it may be, job related queries, post it to Javid. I'll give you the details of Javid. Uh, if you really want to join the class or, you know, whether you want to uh, get to know about any problems you have and all, uh, here are the contact details of Javid. Okay. So just have a note. I'll also ping in the chat box. You can take it from there, guys. Okay. Okay, so what is the market scenario going uh, on? What is that? I said Hello, that sir. what is the market scenario? Market scenario is still dull. It's very unfortunate for me to say that still it is dull. But uh, when I track the market uh, in the inflation point of view, uh, you know, uh, positive commentary has come from the US uh, delegates saying that, you know, um, though the inflation has not gone down, but uh, the projection is that uh, they are, uh, the inflation will go down in the coming days. At this moment, sure. it has not went down. Okay. But so they, they, are are projecting, they are giving a positive commentary see. saying that it is going to go down. Okay. Some three, they have given some number three now. It is going to, they are working towards two. Okay. If the inflation goes okay. down, automatically job market will rise. Okay, sir. My one question regarding this, sir. Mm. Yes. Sir, uh, nowadays company are expecting more than two testers, sir. They expecting tester has a uh, developer a coding knowledge also, sir. Yes, yes. That is that's what we call it as a SD rule. So uh, most of the 75, uh, 75 to eighty percent of the knowledge you have to you have to be into QA software testing, and remaining twenty percent you have to build on development side. Okay. Okay. So okay. Have... You see, there is no limit. It's not compulsory that everyone is doing that. It's not compulsory that everyone want people to work on development side, testers to work on development side. There are some companies doing that. Okay. If you are interested in that direction and, uh, you know, you can go in the direction or many ways are there. You can become a security tester. You can become a performance tester. Okay. Uh, you can become an aut automation architect. It's not always SJ. Okay. SJ is one way where, you know, people, uh, people uh, need some development skills and also parallelly fix some small defects at least. Okay. Along with testing. Uh, testing mindset with the development uh, knowledge kind of stuff. Okay, that is going on. How will be the future on test automation testing and job opportunities, sir? Upcoming years. Yeah, it's a complete. You see, a, whatever the application will come, ultimately it has to be tested. Whether it may be an IoT application or it may be machine learning uh, built application or it may be AI application, it has to be tested or not. Every machine cannot do everything, guys. Okay, even AI cannot do everything. So people are required, but the thing is, uh, we also have to learn some knowledge. Uh, we should have some knowledge regarding AI. Okay. That's only is required. You don't have to worry that AI will replace the jobs. It's not like that. There is saying nowadays in the market, right? Online, AI will not replace you. Rather the person who knows the AI will replace you. So you have to constantly learn the AI things also in, in parallel. AI is not a big deal. How, sir, how it will be the opportunity, sir, for uh, testing? Testing Job opportunities will be good. Definitely market is down, but opportunities will be good. Sir, what is the real time environment to the documentation part or else? Do we have only the meetings in the meeting only all the stuff related to that wallet what would, where we can able to refer the document for a particular period of time? After that, we want we want to continue in that respective projects. Uh, I didn't get that come again. Uh, maybe I missed your voice in between, so it was lagging. Come, come. What is the real-time environment related while working on a new project? Uh, while working on a new project? Do we want to refer to the documentation part or else in the meeting only we will, they will explain about... What it depends. It depends. You see some, it depends on client to client because I have worked on several pilot projects uh, where, you know, uh, they'll check your performance like uh, this company can do the job or not, okay? In the pilot projects, sometimes they, they used to view as the application URL directly. Sometimes no application URL, only a document they used to give. Uh, sometimes uh, they used to explain other things over the call without documentation. It depends on, uh, sometimes they have given only images, a projection of how the application is going to look like. Okay, wireframes they will call that as, that images kind of, uh, you know, before building the, before building the uh, building, a builder will give you a kind of brochure, like that kind of brochure they will give you, okay. Brochure means not physical brochures. I mean to say PDF files or something. Okay. So it depends on, you know, it depends on the things. We have to do R&D. We have to go to YouTube or Google and, you know, we have to find out about the client. We have to know about the company. We have to know what projects they are building. Uh, 
uh, like that we have to do different ways it's not like a single thing okay it's not a silver bullet like hold the compulsory give you the documentation it's not like that it depends on client to client we want to do more research related to that particular project and uh, prepare the test cases sir is that what we are trying to say yes right it all depends uh, on the project first uh, you know we'll create a test plan then we'll go for the test uh, scenarios then we we'll create the test cases uh, and we'll run the test cases we'll report the defects and uh, we'll create a quality report document like that several processes there step by step it's a, like software development life cycle is there software testing life cycle is also there uh, how should we write the trial t1 test test cases means t1 test cases as you uh, what is what is that what is that question what is the how we write uh, priority one test cases how to recite that test cases priority one Pri prioritizing the test cases right you will understand yes. from your experience uh, you you see uh, the person who is having some experience can prioritize well than you if you ask me to prioritize i will prioritize better than you because i have the experience right i know which one will come first and second okay so mostly for example if i ask you a simple question you have to answer me maybe you will answer this uh, first test case is like login with valid credentials second test case is that login with valid email and invalid password which one will you give the priority first and second priority now uh, login with uh, valid credentials yeah you are able to answer right how how come you know your mindset right your thinking process same thing oh, yeah. like that we will prioritize the test cases okay it depends on experience sometimes uh, to means what, you the, get proper priority uh, positive means what the positive test cases positive ne are, negative are, doesn't matter here positive negative most of the things positive will be higher priority negative will be lower priority definitely that you know right okay but we generally don't consider positive negative we don't discuss so much okay when we are creating okay. test cases we have to create positive and negative in that positive negative again we have to prioritize okay uh and another one is the what is the exploratory testing and uh, well. uh, another what is that question exploratory testing what is exploratory uh, testing what is exploratory testing is a very big uh, there is a very big big book on that if you really want to understand exploratory testing in uh, short time right uh, you just need to go to youtube and search like this qfox space exploratory testing i just made it simple for you okay i did this lot of r and d for this it took lot of time for me guys to explain just go and watch this video of 42 minutes no matter how many videos you will watch you will not understand you just come to this you will understand okay you can see this okay. video right yes sir you have to explore everything you will understand definitely sir. oh sir you can start the test cases now yeah, what is that can you repeat the sir, question again sir i have few doubts on manual testing so right now uh, i have experience of manual real time experience so mm. whenever i joined they told me download report and uh, check in live uh, the report comparison i thought that is the testing but real time it is different my mm. doubt is they told like uh, create customer and check back and the data is uh, populating into the facilities they gave access to db so mm -hmm. like uh, now right database now right testing. database testing that is right so you see you enter the details from the front end and uh, you see whether the data is really saved in the database properly or not but coming to product based companies uh, uh, we we write queries like right sir so yes, it depends sql on... queries we have to write sql you, you see if you have the access to the database you have to do that okay so coming uh, so uh, the recruiters are asking do i have real time experience in sql plsql and sql so do we don't have any access to write see, query uh, to per read my knowledge, per my knowledge uh, since you are asking me the question i'll tell you i'm 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 sharing you in the interviews they'll ask you a hell lot of questions but in real time that much things are not required why because what happens in real time is if it is a complex application the client will prepare a ui interface for you where even you don't have to write the queries Just select the options; it will do a query yes. and get you the data. Okay, such kind of stuff I have done with. Okay, yes. so you don't yes, have sir. to. But but uh, interview purpose, you have to be ready with the knowledge, SQL knowledge. And if you if you want to really learn SQL, just search QFox SQL. You will get the entire playlist. Uh, you know. Uh, sir, all my the... sir, my doubt is if I learn SQL language, the queries are becoming differ in Oracle and MS SQL server, right? Sir? Okay. So, uh, no, uh, my my SQL I prefer. Okay, my SQL you learn it. Okay, that will be enough. Oracle uh, give the second preference. Okay. Sir, anywhere in the company, we don't get access to write the database, right? We just need to retrieve the database and check how it is populating our yes, database. Yes, right, correct, correct, correct. Uh, in companies, you don't have to write the SQL queries. Okay, so yeah. there will be some kind of mechanism or some UI kind of tools will be there. 
that URL they will give you. And uh, from the URL, you have to select some options, which da database and which uh, what you want to do and all. It will generate a query and run it. Okay. You don't have to do much, but knowledge wise, as per interviews, you have to do it. Okay, sure, sir. Thank you, sir. One more doubt, like uh, everyone are uh, asking for automation. Can you tell me, like uh, automation batch has started? I just came to know on Friday, and I came to know like sa Sunday you are not going to take class. So which which hours are best for automation to complete? So I'll tell you what's going on right now. So I will give you a plan, not only for you but everyone who is there in this session. Just go, just observe me, guys. Uh, just uh, uh, just put focus on me so that you will understand what I am trying to explain. So what we are yes, planning sir. to do is, uh, what we are planning to do is this weekend, Saturday, that is 24th, 25th, we, uh, we are going to start the first session on manual part, software testing manual part. Okay. We are going to get started with. So, uh, but uh, one few, two more initiatives are already going on. Uh, that is on a daily basis on weekends from Monday to Friday. Uh, weekdays, we are uh, already, I'm taking Selenium Java module for them. Okay. So the, right now, the thing is that I completed Java and now we have moved to Selenium almost. But uh, what I recommend is instead of you guys waiting for the next batch, that will take a lot of time, right? So I want you guys to jump in right away and we have the recordings. I am there to guide you and support you in the background. You will watch the recordings and parallelly you will attend my software testing trainings. And uh, not only that, on the weekends, we have recently started automating a live application. These complete test cases are there now. This 507 test cases, 507 test cases, we are planning to automate entire thing. A lot of people were asking me the question, right? Out of 507, how many you will automate? For that answer, you have to attend the sessions, guys, okay? So weekends, the same time, morning 7 a.m. to whatever the time. Weekdays also 7 a.m. Weekends also 7 a.m. with the starting time. But weekends, what we do is we implement the automation. We do real-time stuff on weekends. Whereas on weekdays, trainings will be there on the topics. And in the weekends, again, one more initiative is starting where 11 to uh, like whatever I told you, right? Software testing is starting so that you can start here as a new batch. You can consider you can join in between if you really want to. And at the same time, you can attend the next batch also, next repeated modules also. Okay. So if you don't want to waste the time, this is a plan. No, no, no. I don't want that. I just want to wait means uh, you will not be able to match because manual testing is starting now. So it's better you start it now and whatever you understand I, with my guidance, every day you can talk to me for even one hour also, not a problem, guys. Okay, I'll be there in the morning, 7 a.m. to I'm almost taking every day one hour doubts clearing session, okay? So everyone will get a chance to talk to me and, you know, uh, perfect guidance from me. So I recommend people to join right away in wherever we are and things will be repeated for you. And if you really want to join, you have to contact Javid. He will help you in enrolling. Sir, as a manual tester or automation tester, it is mandatory to know about SQL, sir. Uh, you see, in the interviews, they'll ask you. So SQL also will try to cover as part of manual testing because people are asking us. So even I got some inquiries that uh, apart from manual testing, can you teach SQL? Yeah, I'll plan to do that. Uh, not only SQL, I'll also teach you web technologies also. Like uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, XML, like that all the basic web technologies that are required for a software tester to know, right? I'll cover that as part of the tra trainings, okay? In different modules, they will be covered for you. But my suggestion is that join right away, guys. Don't wait for the, you know, next patch and all those stuff. Join right away. I'll give you the, you know, uh, give you the guidance and all how to cope up and all those stuff. And, uh, you know, things will keep going on, guys, okay? You'll not get the perfect time to join. If you really want to join, check with Javid. And uh, Javid is, uh, and also job-related queries also, post to Javid, guys, okay? He will help you out. Uh, if you have a break or uh, you know, some people uh, have some break or whatever the questions they have related to job, right? Javi is the one who will help you out. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of contacts and uh, with the help of the contacts, he will get you the proper help. Yeah, please. Any yeah, questions? Other than, uh, yeah, other than LinkedIn and uh, Nokri, mm. uh, through which platform or uh, through like which process we can get more calls? You, you see, per my experience, Naukri and uh, Naukri is the first one, first rank. Okay. Uh, second is LinkedIn. And recently, I came across some job portal, guys. Okay. I don't remember. I watched it on Shark Tank, actually. Uh, let me search it before you. What's the matter? Shark Tank. That is very good. I thought of uh, doing some R&D on that. But, uh, you know, job portal. Let's see that. Uh, maybe that will be useful for you. 
yeah this guy so is it beneficial to uh, purchase this subscription for naukri or linkedin or uh, should we keep it like as it is and uh, wait for the calls wait for yeah. the calls don't pay any extra money even for resume building also don't pay because we have lot of tools this day chat gpt and all they will create a resume for you and if you can watch my last webinar i have done a webinar on web, uh, resume creation if you know right so you okay. can watch my last uh, last webinar on you know uh, uh, this uh, you know a, a, you, if you join my telegram group you will get all my webinars guys very good webinars are there every week uh, i am sharing very good information and lot of this kind of doubts are be being asked and i'm clearing them so maybe you know you can watch my earlier webinars and you know this this webinar is writing test case this time and the previous webinar uh, let's see where is the previous webinar here somewhere here it will be there resume preparation for uh, freshers and experienced and uh, you can also down uh, you can also download the you know, templates that i have created in the session right for fresher this is a template for experience is that can you same template can we add uh, edit the details sir so what is that so which you have uh, shared the resume previous class webinar yeah yeah same resume can be edit uh, can be yeah you can you can details. edit it. you can edit you can edit the same resume modify few details and that's done according to your uh, thing you just modify okay sir in qfox only we have selenium java and telugu no sir video 64 videos yes yes is yes that, correct is that concepts are okay to crack the interview or uh, i have not completed the entire playlist but i want to complete okay so i have some other things came up but uh, i am on this plan so currently i am working on java interview questions playlist if you know right on youtube channel okay yes sir i am following your qfox only mm. and then stuff related to the manual testing aspect as well now i want to start the what do you call automation testing In okay you java, can start that uh, that telugu thing if you are comfortable with telugu you can do that okay not a problem but what else you... do we have some sort of like so what do you call core java related uh, stuff and selenium stuff three years back videos do you want to follow that stuff for the complete really, uh, information uh, i didn't get your question come again in qfox only we have uh, what do you call core java related stuff and uh, what do you call practical questions related to stuff in java both you have to follow both you have to follow yeah you see that's what i do in the training i guide the people in a proper way okay that's the confusion because a lot of stuff is there in the even in my youtube channel a lot of stuff is there what i do is just have a look at what i do you see this is a batch one okay you see every day notes will be shared then code will be shared assignments will be shared recording of the session will be shared and sometimes i'll share something like this okay you have to watch this videos extra videos i'll not teach these things in the you know sessions some additional stuff that you have to explore it by yourself that also i will share so this guidance you will get in the you know every day what is the thing and all you see lot of things lot of things people are already going through okay lot of things people are already going through i am training them so at what time what you have to learn which videos you have to refer and all it all depends here guys okay clear so very very yeah, lot of lot of will you continue uh, that uh, selenium in telugu youtube channel sure, sure. i'll i'll continue that but give me some time uh, maybe it's uh, you know i'm busy with this uh, core java part but uh, i'll get back to that for sure okay yeah it's been a month since you uploaded the last yeah yeah, yeah i know that, i know that i even uh, because i in between i went to a vacation that also made me delay the things okay, okay. So, but okay. i'll do that since you have reminded me i'll definitely look into that okay no problem okay. and people Thanks. were asking me about this naukri right this unstop is one thing guys okay so i have found it on the shark tank i i, I felt it very good guys okay so it's uh, somewhat different from what naukri people will do where you know you have to do some practice assignments and all those stuff and you know based on that your resume will go up got it guys just try this unstop uh, maybe it, you may get a different feel in uh, trying for jobs it's kind of different platform where you can find internships and all you know uh, you you do something your credentials will rise before because of that you know uh, your resume will go up such kind of process unstop is it's like an aukri another portal for uh, upper, like uh, similar to naukri where you just practice learn and all just try to be more active in this unstop maybe there is a possibility that you will get uh, jobs uh, better than other people okay more opportunities you may get clear guys with this question uh, that you have asked
फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी नौकरी सेकंड वन लिंकड इन थर्ड वन यू गो फॉर अनस्टॉप ओके दैट्स माय रिकमेंडेशन एनी अदर क्वेश्चन यू आर आस्किंग मी एनीथिंग आई डिड आई डिंट आई आंसर एनीथिंग Sir, Selenium with Java has started. I mean, I want See, don't to worry join. Don't whether it is started or not. I am there. Mm -hmm. Okay, just believe with me that I am there. I'll support you. I'll help you out. What to do and all at what point of time. Even though it is started, uh, you don't have to worry. Okay, because mm -hmm. it will be repeated for you. If you join right now, what is the advantage is that you will go through the recordings for a while instead of wasting the time, yes. and you will be in sync with the current initiatives. That is manual testing initiative is going on and. Uh, Live live session automation is also going on. Those you will miss if you wait for the next batch. That's sure, sir. My intention is I just want to learn frameworks thoroughly. I will go. I have not. Uh, I mean you, Java. If, I have idea. You you have Selenium Java. If you have some idea, basic knowledge and all, then you then it is the right time for you to join right now. Sure. Okay. Because sir. we are going to the advanced topics of Selenium right now. Almost we are at the end of the Java concepts also. Okay. Okay. so you may right right now join and uh, whether you have the knowledge or doesn't have the knowledge i'll create a separate plan for everyone guys and i'll give you lot of time for you every day so you don't have to worry anything okay it's not like other training guys we are doing we are doing a service okay it's not just training we are doing for less price we are including you guys into lot of initiatives and we are giving you lot of free stuff and even i recommend people to watch my youtube videos if they really need my you know extra extra things then only i ask people to come to my batches okay there is no pushing here okay so if you are comfortable with uh, youtube videos you can still go but if you want something beyond youtube videos then come back to this trainings okay so we want to give something good for the people serious people that's what uh, we are heading to okay any other doubts guys any other doubts or questions and you can take a screenshot of this guys okay you can take a screenshot of this and reach out to javid okay Sir, name. one more doubt, sir. Like, if if two if two applications I am working, one application integration part mm -hmm. has to show mm -hmm. in another application. So those also we are going to write uh, automation scripts, test case scripts. I mean test scripts. Okay, uh, you see, uh, everything may not be there here, but if you have such a case study, you can let us know. So what we will do is, uh, you know, on the weekends we are implementing the automation for such kind of stuff. We are taking the challenges. and uh, end to end automation test case also we are automating so people are coming with uh, last last week right we we did red bus login functionality automation we uh, people were facing lot of challenges we we cracked it and we were able to do it okay so like that uh, whatever the challenges you have you bring it on to the table on the weekends and uh, we'll pipeline it and we'll try to automate it okay okay sir so we are not leaving any stone unturned guys we are putting our efforts everywhere so we are evolving from the students who are joining there is no static structure here lot of discussions lot of uh, you know time time we are providing and you know and focus very high level focus i am not taking any evening batches the reason behind that is if i take evening batches for more money the focus will get diluted that's the reason even though people are asking for evening batches we are not doing only in the morning hours we are taking and uh, for weekends uh, From eleven a.m. to that thing, software testing manual is going to start uh, this week. I'm just the scholar. Yeah. Any questions, guys? Any other questions? Yeah, Harun sir. Uh, I'm Anupurni here. I just moved to UK recently. Okay. Uh, Fine. Just heard about your channel through my friends' uh, circle. Okay. Great. Um, I'm purely from manual testing background. I just want to uh, move on to the automation. Great. Great. Could yeah. Time to join now. Yeah, you can join now. That's what I am telling you, right? I'll guide you. Okay. So if you join right now, let let's say tomorrow after the session, right? We'll have a detailed call on what to do. I'll create a plan for you, and based on the plan, you have to work for a while, and uh, things will be repeated for you. But uh, this way, you will not waste your time. Okay. I'll just ping uh, with with Javid and yes, today. Yes. Yeah. So you can ping Javid, and uh, he'll help you out in enrolling into the batch. Okay. Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you so much. So, whoever is in, interested uh, in the batches, if they really need more confidence, because whatever the stuff we are doing is kindly different, guys. Very realistic, very real time. Okay, so you will not get on YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we are we are evolving like anything in all directions, and you know we are working on all directions to make you guys very good from zero to expert level. We are going to take for sure.
yes we can take mock interviews if you guys are interested and if you are ready we are ready to take the mock interviews for you also check you are asking me about in the chat right mock interviews yes we are ready to take only thing is that uh, you have to join and then after joining you have to let us know that you are ready for the mock interview we'll take it okay any other questions i missed in the chat box or something just ask me or uh, i would like to okay. sir i have one more doubt here uh, the time difference will be uh, i mean the time will be differ from here to india is that okay uh, like how the schedule will be happen to me uh, okay sure. uk i think uh, it's bit early or something for you our afternoon is your morning i guess yes like five and a half difference here here and there okay but 7 am but uh, manual testing you can attend but uh, selenium automation i think you will not be able to attend right that is 7 am our time that will be okay. five and a half five and a half hours more means it will be midnight for you like 1 o'clock or something yes exactly that will be difficult for you but manual you can okay. you can join for now okay but because we are not doing evening hours and all so there is no other way for us okay is there any weekend batches for uh, selenium automation no 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 at present weekend is only for manual testing we are doing for automation we are not doing okay but maybe maybe you know in the coming days we may plan okay but at this moment we are not at that uh, level okay we'll try to plan something in the coming days if the manual testing things are over we may we may consider it okay okay sir anyway like i'll just ping with javid and get the details. yeah sure sure just try to if not right i'll be there to guide you anyhow so no problem okay yeah thank you thank you so much welcome should we write test cases for apa yes we have to write i have written i have worked on a project where complete apa was there i have written the test cases for api okay sir for non it people for non it people you have to write it yeah tell me shaik for non it people it is easy to enter uh, it industry sir yes it is easy there is nothing much I, i i told you right i'll make you from zero to expert level you don't have to double think then can you tell me about what is the road map sir uh, testing manual automation you see first thing is that the road map is that first you have to start with manual testing okay after manual testing you have to go for selenium java automation okay the second okay. line okay. and after uh, after that you know you can start attending the interviews parallelly mm -hmm. parallelly you can uh, you know learn api testing and uh, interview questions of manual and automation that you have to do okay, parallelly sir. while attending and the interviews program. you learn api <laughs> interview questions of all the stuff okay okay some project project uh, project uh, that's what it will be covered as part of the uh, you know either my youtube videos or my trainings okay sir uh, if, so if you complete training... my youtube videos you will get a live project there also but uh, the kind so, of discussions that will happen in the trainings will not happen in the youtube okay only youtube is like static videos where uh, you will get a project experience also but if you want more confidence come to the trainings okay sir. that's the only the differentiator okay but both are good okay. uh, literally both are good if really need okay. come to the uh, trainings okay Okay, so, so what is the free, uh, what is the free free, free, stru free structure of manual automation of both yeah everything you see join us only one time you don't have to pay anything anymore okay uh, rupees 5000 we are charging as a service and we are giving mm -hmm. a lot of stuff okay whether you join in manual or weekend live project initiative or weekday selenium java training doesn't matter just pay one time and you are eligible for every initiative mm -hmm. Okay. There's that is rupees five thousand uh, four thousand nine 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 something they kept but it's five thousand something around okay okay sir. we are providing it for very cheap price okay we are beating the industry standards because these trainings people generally charge fifteen to twenty thousand such a stretch when we take right uh, so we take we take lot of efforts in training we give lot of importance in trainings. Uh, Yeah, uh, Amit, you are asking me about the timing of the classes, right? There are three three modules going on. One is Selenium Java module, which is on the weekdays, starting from Monday to Monday to Friday, seven a.m. Morning seven a.m. Okay, and uh, weekends morning seven a.m. That is Saturday Sunday morning seven a.m. to whatever the time that is one one and a half hour, whatever it is. We are taking live automation of an application. automating a live application using selenium end to end application we are automating along with that we are 
automating the challenges. That is the weekend part. And in weekend, again, one more module is there from starting from 11 a.m. It may last for two or two and a half hours or three hours, on a, depending on, it will be there on both Saturday and Sunday. That is for manual testing software, okay? Software testing manual. So, uh, is that clear? Uh, 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 your name, Abu Thair, Abu Tahir, right? It's clear for you? Yes. Yes, 7 a.m. IST, guys. Timing is 7 a.m. IST. For more details, you can reach out to Javed. Javed is there for you, help you out in timings and all the stuff. There are three modules that are going on. You can parallelly learn all the stuff, guys. I'll be there to guide you and create a separate plan for each and everyone who is joining the batches, okay? There is no specified duration for the course because uh, we don't want to, uh, you know, wind up the content. Harika, you're asking me the question like duration. M my marketing team will say 45 days, but, uh, you know, based on the discussions that are going in the classes, we are giving a lot of time. We are answering each and every question. And uh, even though we are taking, we promised one hour, but we are taking two hour session every day, one hour for training, one hour for doubt clearing, but still we are not able to complete in 45 days. I'm just thinking that uh, for Selenium Java, it will take two months and remaining all, you know, they will run parallelly, okay? For only Java and Selenium, two, two months, sir? Two months it is taking because of the discussions that we are doing in our sessions, okay? It's not because I am not covering, but, uh, you know, people are asking me the doubts from all directions. That's what is the difference. Very, uh, like, uh, very good uh, conversations are going on. I appreciate that. And our community is very good. If you can see our community, can see the kind of, uh, you know, uh, the thing that we are doing here. Like, uh, just see here. Where is that group? Just give me a second, guys. Okay, this is the group. You see our group. You see every day a lot of discussions goes on. People, you know, chat like anything here. Whatever the problem they have, they will discuss, you know. I can see the my efforts of training. When I train people and people are actually practicing, I can see it here, right? Everyone can see, right? How they are discussing. This is what goes on after the training, okay? My assignments, this kind of community, you know, different modules going side by side. You are learning all the real time stuff. All your doubts are getting cleared. Okay. Lot of focus and patience. And uh, we are providing a lot of interest. You know, we are putting a lot of, you know, what we call that efforts in making you guys an expert. Okay. Unlike other trainings. And that too for very less price. Hope everyone will be happy with this. And, uh, you know, we really want to make a difference in the industry. That's why we are doing like this. Okay. We want to beat all the competition, no matter what. Okay, so yes, all in the same link, uh, Arunagiri, all same link you have to use. Okay, you join one module, you are uh, allowed to join other modules. Okay, uh, then can we have one webinar on a webinar interview preparation? Sure, guys, uh, I'll, I'll do a webinar. Okay, maybe next week I'll, uh, I thought of doing on UI testing. After that, I'll, I'll do a webinar on interview preparation also. Okay, check is that fine? Next webinar will be on UI testing. I created a big checklist on UI testing uh, that I'll uh, demonstrate next uh, weekend. And uh, after that, uh, I'll go for the interview preparation. I'll consider your uh, whatever you are saying, right? This is how we evolve, guys, okay? You also should give us some inputs, like what webinars we have to do, what you are expecting from us and all those stuff, okay? Yeah, Abut uh, here, like, uh, let's figure it out, like what parallel distribution you want and all, okay? It, it is possible with the help of TestNG only, Abut uh, Tahir, okay? TestNG will enable the parallel distribution, okay? So, yes, everything is same link, 7 a.m. link, 11 a.m. link, everything is same, okay? But we'll create three t different Telegram groups to post the content in a separate way, but uh, link will be same for joining the meeting. You have to get the link from the Javid. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, you have Amit, Amit so yes, you will get the recording. That's what I am telling you, right? Every recording you will get. Okay. Every recording you will get. And I, apart from recording, you will get my guidance also. Yeah. Hi, Kirti. Yeah. Tell me uh, what's your question? Someone is asking me a question. Sir, we have to go as a fresher after this course or uh, with experience, sir? It depends. It depends. Uh, but you will get uh, two to three years of experience easily from my sessions. More than two to three years. Okay. 
okay it's up to you how you want to go but uh, how you want to go and job wise javid is the person who will decide that to talk to javid get clarification from javid and this is my situation and uh, what do you prefer what do you think okay if you are not getting proper help from javid then uh, ask javid to con uh, give my contact and he will give my contact and i'll you know you can talk to me okay Oh, thank you sir thank no so every day you have a chance right anyhow if you are part of my training every day you have a chance to talk to me i'll be there every day and uh, i'll be like you know behind you supporting you in every aspect okay don't need to worry anything yeah thank you amit uh, good to see that you are into this training i'm looking forward to you know talk to you yeah any other questions guys hope i answered all your questions today If any questions you have, you can still have time to, uh, you know, ask. That's okay. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask me still. Yeah, welcome, Harika. Thanks for attending the session webinar today. Next week we'll come up with another beautiful webinar on UI testing checklist, guys. I want everyone to attend. Let's see. No demo classes. This is a demo class. Whatever I showed you today is a demo. You should be able to understand, right? The way I teach you and all, you should be getting a kind of sense, right? This you can treat it as a demo class, RP. I will not take any other separate demo sessions. Okay. Great. Uh, thank you, Salman, for the feedback of the videos on Java. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Up the hill. Ah, uh, okay, okay, Arbi, no problem. You joined late. Okay, no problem. This uh, this webinar will be you know premiered tomorrow on YouTube. You can watch it there. Okay, no problem. I I will upload this onto the YouTube uh, tomorrow. You can uh, watch it there. Okay. Pawan Kumar, welcome. Pawan Kumar, welcome. Sushma, welcome. Arbi. Any questions? Any questions? Any more questions, guys? I'm here to help you out and uh, hear your questions, whatever the questions may be. Don't worry whether it is a normal, simple question or big question. Doesn't matter, guys. Everyone has to ask the questions. Okay, I am not reluctant to, uh, you know, kind of questions. You can ask me. You can treat me like, you know, kind of very close person and ask me the questions. I'm there to uh, give you all the guidance. Yes, uh, Anil. Yes, I'm going to cover everything in Selenium. Okay, I'm going to cover in Selenium. Apart from that, you will get some assignment. Assignments because of assignments and all will cover a lot. We we are going beyond Selenium. Whatever you are asking, will I like cover everything in Selenium? But I am saying that we are covering something beyond Selenium. Okay. You you will will reach your uh, will reach out your expectation. Will go outside your expectation. That's what I mean to say, Anil. Okay. Such kind of information you will get from these trainings. No one can give such kind of trainings, guys. Okay, in the market. Yes, uh, one plus. What is your name? I don't know. It's came as one plus, but you can reach out to Javid on the place placement assistance. He'll help you out in, with more information. Okay, Javid has a lot of contacts. He he is working on that direction, so you can talk to Javid and uh, get that cleared from your side. Okay. Any other questions? Either in the chat box or you can ask me here with via voice. That's okay. When do login functionality days from who will get data? We can create our own data. Sometimes we can get the data from the client side also. It depends. Okay, Shaikh. There may be some situations where an application may already be there in the market for which a mobile application has been created. For such kind of application, already data will be there in the web application, right? We can take it from the client. Or if it is a brand new application. we can create the data and we can also uh, interact with the client and discuss with uh, about the test data is this test data enough or not because test data plays a very crucial role in testing believe me okay uh, if you test with normal test data right it will not work well okay so we have to be very good with test data then only application will be tested in a proper way test data plays a crucial role in testing that i agree okay so we have to discuss with the client uh, and we have to get a confirmation regarding the test data with the client also okay because from my experience from the projects i can say that yes selenium java testng cucumber bdd is included yes it is included 
Sonali, everything is included, whatever you have written. Can we get the automation testing with Selenium course content and uh, we covering this paid course? Uh, uh, yeah, we are covering behind what is there in the YouTube. That's what is the challenge, okay? For less price, we are covering whatever the th that thing is there in the YouTube, right? Behind YouTube, we'll get, okay? And with a lot of guidance from my side, a lot of assignments from my side, which are doable assignments. I'm not saying uh, assignments will be very tough. If you, if you are able to understand the sessions, you will be able to easily do the assignments and because of doing the assignments, your confidence will rise. That's what I can say. Welcome, Sonali. So, we have I answered your question, V. So, don't worry about the content. Just leave it the content. I have, I'll take care of that. I'll take you to the next level, okay? The content will evolve during the sessions. Don't worry, V, okay? I'll take care of that. You will be satisfied, 100% satisfied, okay? I'll not leave you if you're not satisfied, okay? Just take my word. And also, guys, you can continue with the batches. You join one batch, will not restrict you for other batch, okay? To join our current batch, you can continue with our uh, upcoming batches also. If, because of some reasons, if you have dropped out from the batch, don't worry, you can still attend our upcoming batches also. We are allowing the people to attend. One time you register and attend all our batches. Okay, it can be batch one, batch two, doesn't matter for us. We can continue attending our batches. Yeah, uh, you see, coming to the projects, uh, Sonali, uh, we are focusing on e-commerce, but we are not restricting to that because we are also doing some challenging work, right? I told you. So maybe there may be some situations where we'll get challenges from different type of applications from different people. So it's like a different type of projects will be covered. Okay. As part of automation. Sir, for automation testing, it is mandatory to know about the API testing also, sir. No, uh, uh, for automation testing, API is not required, but you can learn parallelly if you want. Yeah, of course. Jira, and, sir, uh, what about yeah. Jira, sir? Yeah, what is that? Jira, Jira, sir. What about Jira too? Jira, I'll cover you. In the software testing manual part, in the weekends batch, weekend module is there, na? I'll cover you there. Okay. Total three it modules are there. Sir, Jira tool. Jira tool is mandatory, right? Okay. Sir. Jira is mandatory because nowadays all the projects are agile, right? So it's mandatory. Guys, there are four things going on with us. First thing is Monday to Friday. For the people who have joined late to this meeting, I'm telling you again. Monday to Friday, morning 7 a.m. IST, Indian Standard Time, we are conducting Selenium Java trainings module, okay? Second module is on weekends, that is Saturday and Sunday, we are automating some challenges from automating different uh, functionalities from different applications as a challenge. Along with that, we are planning to automate an entire application end-to-end. -end. Whatever the test cases I showed you today, that entire test cases we are going to automate. That's another initiative here. That's on weekends. Same time, 7 a.m. But on weekends, in, in afternoon, 11 a.m. to some two and a half to three hours, right? We are for, we are going to start manual testing. Okay, we are going to start the manual testing batch. So where we'll cover everything, agile, everything, real-time projects. We'll do a lot, guys, more than what we what I covered in the YouTube videos, I'll cover it here. So I want to make a difference for sure in this manual also, okay? Already my YouTube videos on manual are very good, but uh, we are, I am planning to go beyond that. That's the plan. Is this clear? Uh, someone who is, uh, uh, who has pinged me in the chat, is it clear for you now? What we are planning and all? Yes, welcome. It will take a lot of time, but it is an ongoing thing. That's why we are not giving any end date. Okay, but we'll have all the recordings with us. So no need to worry, you can watch the recordings and all, but uh, that is getting started. If you don't want to, you know, waste your time, join right away, guys, because the uh, live sessions, I cannot repeat. Remaining things I can repeat, manual testing, I can repeat, Selenium Java, I can repeat, but I cannot repeat uh, uh, live automation thing because uh, for now, I'm still waiting for the people. I didn't start the end-to-end -end automation of the test cases. We are simply taking the challenges from different applications like Redbus and et cetera, et cetera, and trying to automate uh, everything every weekend, okay? some scenarios every weekend. Like that we are just time passing for now, but uh, soon we will start the test cases, automating the test cases of that uh, e-commerce supply. This entire test cases we are planning to automate. 
and that will be team effort guys okay it's not just i will automate and you will not do anything we all will do that okay you will get a feeling of working in a project that's for sure so any other questions guys i think i have given lot of you know thing already so anything you want to ask me you can ask me guys if i get questions i will stay if i don't get questions i will just wind up this meeting guys it's up to you just see. sir next batch next batch yes sir next batch from so the there is no such thing as next batch in our case it's an ongoing stuff okay you can join any time i'll guide you and the things will be repeated for you sir your previous batch uh, how how much topic is covered sir for java or uh, java is covered almost okay but i'll guide you how to cope up and all okay don't need to worry selenium selenium is not started till selenium basics started okay java java almost at the end but selenium basics started but don't worry i'll guide you okay what to do and all i'll guide you so that uh, you can join and start away why because if you keep mm. waiting right things will not happen okay so join it yes, and yes. Uh, go to the recordings and next batch you can attend right what is the matter no oh, okay okay there is no restrictions okay so if you pay now next batch also you are okay sir uh, daily how much time to uh, classes sir uh, classes uh, we planned for 1 hour daily in the morning hours yes. but uh, it's generally i am taking 1 hour 15 minutes that is 7 am to 8:15 and from 8:15 okay. doubt clearing will start and it go till 9 o'clock also okay so we are uh, giving most time to the people okay yeah. monday, monday to friday monday to friday is the selenium java module saturday sunday is the live training of the selenium using selenium automation we are uh, we are automating the live test cases okay of the live application and uh, along with that we are solving some challenges using automation okay that people are facing and on the weekends uh, and that to on the 11 am to whatever the time we are taking the manual testing that is starting now manual testing manual testing starting now on the weekends okay so okay. you can start with manual testing in parallel you can also join our modules without any restrictions and uh, you can go to the recordings you can wait for the repeated sessions okay like that it can keep on continuing okay sir Thank you. Yeah, welcome Anil. Welcome one place CB something. Any other questions, guys? Anyone have any other questions? If you want to join, just reach out to Javed. Take a screenshot of this. Reach out to Javed. Javed will help you out. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Sure. Yeah. We'll wait for some more time. If you have any questions, you can ask me out, guys. Okay. So if you don't have any doubts, you can leave. No problem. Any doubts, you can stay and ask me the doubts. No problem. Okay, fine. I think I have answered almost all doubts. The so last call. Any doubts? fine then i think thanks sir I yeah think, uh, thank you thank you guys thank you yeah thank you for attending yeah, thank you arun thank you welcome welcome guys okay yeah thank you day. for attending this webinar and i hope everyone will attend the webinar again in the upcoming ones i'll try to share more knowledgeable information in the upcoming webinars see you guys bye bye thank you bye, bye. good night yeah good night bye thank you